and welcome back to Dhaka, Bangladesh, Bengali cuisine. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Our first stop is actually in the university. Pops a little hole and just fills them. Look at that, wow. In one? Oh, oh wow. No. It looks good. It smells incredible. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come closer. Oh my gosh. Um. Smile. Good afternoon and welcome back to Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today we are going to be fully immersing ourselves in the Bangladeshi, the Bengali cuisine. We are going to throw ourselves in the deep end with the street food in Old Dhaka. We're actually meeting a local Rocky who actually runs his own food tour company who is going to take us around and show us the best spots so we don't get sick. We've tried a few of the dishes in Old Dhaka but without the help of Rocky today we wouldn't even know where to start but we are currently at the beautiful Dhaka University which is kind of crazy you can walk in like locals and vendors are just walking around the university which I find so strange this is so random you can literally walk inside the university I'm surprised more people are like what are you doing because literally you've got students coming in you've got people using this as like a, a road a road to like come in and out of each side to avoid the traffic here in Dhaka and then you just have us two milling around <laughs> Hello. I'm fine. How are you? How are you? I'm very good. Come on, Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, come on, Acha. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Oh, that's better. That's, that's better. Good. <laughs> I'm practicing. I'm yeah, getting, my that's Bengali good. is slowly improving each yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. And I will teach you today uh, some more words. Thank you very much. So, We're really excited. So where are we starting? What yeah, are we eating? We'll start uh, with the with that area. We'll start uh, with Fuchka first. Fuchka okay. is very yeah. yeah very popular, very popular in here. So Fuchka essentially is similar to Pani Puri. Uh, similar to Pani Puri, but not exactly that. Uh, huge difference uh, uh, right now in Bangladesh. Yeah. So we have met our guide Rocky and he actually runs the only food tour company in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Cholo Tours, Let's Go Tours and it's taken him a long time, a lot of trial and error going to different vendors around old Dhaka to learn which is best for the foreign stomach. I'm excited. Before we continue exploring we want to say a massive thank you to our friends at Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our videos. Skyscanner is a world travel engine looking for flights, hotels and so much more. We have been using Skyscanner for all of our travels and we're hoping to help you use Skyscanner for your next trip. Travel is often seen as complicated and that it needs to be well planned. Well, let me tell you, it's not complicated and you do not have to plan months in advance. You can actually use Skyscanner to be a bit spontaneous. Use it like a roulette. You can pop onto the website, click the search everywhere button and it will generate the cheapest destinations for you to visit. Simply put in your dates and your departing airport and check out the suggestions it brings up. Make sure you pick the first one, that's how you are really spontaneous. I had a look and I can see that you can fly from London to either Ireland or Poznan in Poland which is actually a very colourful and vibrant city and we would highly recommend that you visit. We loved it when we were there. And pretty much for £25 you can't go wrong. Again a massive thank you to Skyscanner for being a long term partner. We hope that we've convinced you to be spontaneous um, and try the roulette. This is really cool. So our first stop is actually in the university area. It's the place where like lots of the university students come. They come and check it out. So you can I didn't see, think like, you'd be able to eat in the university. No, but it's really a great business because it's really, really busy. It's bustling in the little park area. Um, and I'm really excited for Fuchka. Uh, can I have one Fuchka, please? Hey. One Fuchka? One Fuchka. Normal to check, so it's Okay, so it's 80 40 for one. 40, 40. 40, 40 for one. Wow, brilliant. Okay, one fuchka, please. One fuchka. Yes, please. This is cool. What's, what's inside it? Yeah, we have uh, chickpeas inside and uh, mashed potatoes, chilies, everything. So ah, and you can see them making it. 
So here you can see that he is making the mix that is going to go inside of our little fuchka. He's got the masala, he's got the chickpeas, he's mixing it all together and then he's going to pop a little hole in it and pop it inside. And this is it. So he grabs it, pops a little hole and just fills them all up little, like a little bite sized snack. And then grabs, is this coriander? Yeah, coriander and chilies. Okay, coriander so leaves and chilies. Oh, spicy. Yeah, and the toppings with carrots and uh, eggs, eggs on the toppings. Eggs yeah, as well? See. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. So carrots and then eggs. Wow! That's the difference from pani puri. <laughs> oh, and some egg? Yeah, because pani puri is very wet. Watery, this yeah. Is, this is not watery, this is not watery actually. It's very dry. Oh, look, look at the colors. Thank you very much. Whoa, check this out. This looks absolutely insane. Do I just pop the whole one in? Yeah, inside. Okay, here we go. Before that, before that you can put some uh, tamarind uh, water inside. Okay. It will make it sour. And it will make it, oh my god, they're just cracking. Look at that, wow. In one? Mm. Mm. Look, it's getting so busy, everyone wants one. The um, chickpeas were boiled in like a sauce, mixed with potato, and got a little bit of chili in there. We've got all the fresh vegetables on the top, and actually, it's really, really delicious. The puris are, or the fuchka, should I say, are very crunchy. Let's do it. The pani puri has got some competition. In one? Uh, in one. In one? Oh wow, mm. there's so many flavors going on. It's crunchy, it's spicy, mm. fresh, and you can get that little bit of egg coming through. They're probably actually quite healthy. That's what I was going to say actually. <clears throat> and obviously not as wet as the pani puri. And only 40 taka, so what's that? That's like... 4, 8, 12, 30p. 30 pence. Thank you my friend, Don't about. Thank you. Thank you. Such a cool way to start. In the grounds of Dhaka University, eating possibly the most famous street food in the whole country, the fuchka. It's so nice to see. You get all the students coming out, grabbing a little plate of six. Even the, even the teachers, they said the professors come out at lunch and grab. It, it was delicious. Honestly, I think, I'll whisper it, but I think they're nicer than Pani Puri. We are still on the grounds of the university, but just on the back end right now. And our next dish, as you can tell, by the amount of people is extremely popular. It's called Halim. Um, I'll be able to tell you exactly what it is when I see it, but yeah, there's a lot of people waiting for it. I'm very good. Where are you from? I'm from England. Oh, nice. nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you too, man. Nice to meet you. Are you eating? You having food? You eating? Yes. yes. Yeah? We are having Halim. We're having Halim. Halim. Halim, it is good. Halim, Yeah? Good? Yeah, it's good. Kachuri. Kachuri. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we are going to eat. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. The students are so kind, so friendly. So, uh, yeah. Very friendly. Everybody's so friendly. Uh, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone we meet in Bangladesh yeah. has a smile on their face. Yeah, yeah I, I think uh, this is a very friendly country. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, before coming to this country, you might heard that this is not safe, this is not safe country. Maybe you heard it about the, uh, this, but actually the actual scenario, it's I think not the it's, case. it's not, not that much. Yeah. People have to come and experience it for experience themselves. It. Yeah, and uh, even uh, lots of tourists coming here. And we have a tour, uh, Dhaka City tour by rickshaw. The, so no uh, luxury car, no, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Experience like like a local, exactly like a local do. So many tourists, they are very much interested now to do that uh, uh, local tour. Yeah. yeah, best way to see the Dhaka <laughs> City. So we actually have to wait 10 minutes for our dish and this is the Halloween. So it's inside? Yeah, it's inside. Oh my god, and what are they going to do? Put it on there? Yeah, yeah. Here, here is the Halloween. Oh wow! Oh, well it looks good. It smells incredible. It smells so good. And they sell all of that? And more. Show you one and more. More will come. That is crazy. Because this place is, uh, this place was uh, actually starts from 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. So when all the classes will close and then, then, then oh here we go look oh, here we go one two oh it's heavy oh. muscles wow you're very strong 
Look at these arms. Muscle man. And this is it. He's mixing it all up, adding in all of the spice, the smells. The, the smells coming from this right now are incredible. And of course, Muscles is doing it. Why are you not doing it? You have the muscles. Really oh good. look at it, it's already Whoa. it's like a little potion <laughs> from his cauldron <laughs> below and then he adds some cucumber? Yeah cucumber uh, like uh, which look do you think that it keeps crispy onions crispy onions yeah. coriander okay. and coriander definitely some spices it looks good Muscles. Whoa, muscles. <laughs> and chili flakes. Yeah. Of course. And, and some ooh. sauce. A little bit sauce. Is that tamarind or spicy? Uh, they have different uh, sauces. Different sauces. Oh, tamarind, yeah. Is it balu? Yeah. Balu? balu? Is it good? It's good. Balu? It's good? Is balu, balu. <laughs> balu? <laughs> I think he's camera shy. Donna <laughs> Bad, thank you very much. Okay, great. Yeah. Right. This looks wild. I mean, there's a whole lot of things going in there. So it's a bit like lentils. We have some wheat in there. We have yeah, some meat. Me. And then you saw him put the famous toppings on top. So, crispy onions. Mm, it's really hot. Hello. Hello. Very good. Oh my God. So, Rocky was actually telling us they have a secret masala recipe. That is like nothing I've ever tasted before and it is extremely spicy. It feels so strange being in the university grounds eating fresh street food that we had to wait for. So you know it's fresh. It's hot. Mm. It's so different, right? It's spicy. It's really spicy. <laughs> yeah, really spicy. It's like a... another problem here. <laughs> Woo! We love spicy food. <clears throat> Very spicy. It's like a lentil, spicy, crunchy... Meaty soup. Meaty soup, yeah. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Woo! I'm having to drink water. Like, down water. It's the sort of dish that you'd want on a cold <laughs> European winter's night. Some hearty food to warm you up. Not 40 degrees in probably the hum most, not 40 degrees in probably the most humid country. Woo! Mama, kotu taka. Waki taka. Thank you, it was delicious. Very spicy though, very spicy. <laughs> it's okay, you keep it, keep it, it's okay. Thank you, for you. Woo! Mama has destroyed me. <laughs> My mouth is in a bad way. Our next stop is actually going to be an old dapper. Rocky, yes, perfect. Rocky's getting us a cycle rickshaw, one of our favourite things to do. Oh, he's cleaning it for us. Well, that's okay. That's okay, we jump on. They work hard enough as it is. I know, it's, I mean, I think it's only like two kilometres, which is pretty much the basic but in this going heat. rate, but in this heat, it is a lot. Thank you, my friend, Donna Bad. This one's beautiful. Oh, we're on. Woo! Oh, the more food we eat, the harder this gets to get on these rickshaws. How much? Okay. Donna thank Donna you so much. He, uh, he was grafting. I don't know how they do it. They, I still don't understand. They have so many muscles. But welcome to Old Dhaka. Which way are we going? Where are we? Is this yeah, us okay. here? So this is uh, in Old Dhaka. And we are going to Royal, uh, Royal Hotel restaurant. Before that, we'll have uh, tea biscuit. The very traditional Old Dhaka tea biscuit. We'll uh, taste this one. This is called Bakur Khani. Bakur Khani. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Bala How are cha. you? You Kimanacha? Bala. Bala, alhamdulillah. Nice to meet you. We're going to eat. Salam alaikum. Can we get, should we get one or two? One, uh, you can one is one, enough? One. Can we get one, please? And if you need more, you can have two. Perfect. One, please. Five tagas, dos tagas. Ten taka and six, six taka. Two variations. Okay, great. Will we just get one, please? Dos taka ta madra bishi. Bishi. Bishi, ha, dos taka. Ten taka, sweet one. The sweet one. Yeah, they have two versions. So one is sweet 
Another is uh, a little bit uh, tasteless actually. <laughs> What's your favorite? The sweet one? The sweet one, yeah, definitely. The sweet one is my favorite. I do need. I do. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is what was the name of yeah, the This is called Bakokani. Uh, uh, very traditional one. Uh, like uh, old Dhaka people, they wake up and they come here uh, and they take this biscuit and maybe sometimes they put it uh, uh, in tea, in, in tea <laughs> and sometimes they uh, get it and go back to their home and then they make tea there and then yeah. so it's the tea biscuit, tea biscuit. so like a little breakfast or a sweet snack um, and it looks really really delicious so you can see he has lots of different packs of them so you can buy them in a packet or you can buy them singly yeah, and the people coming here to buy not only the single one, most of the time 10, 20, 30, 100 pieces for, his, for their family. Mm. It's good. You know what? It's, it's uh, like yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's uh, like a little bit different, but the, all, the, all the whiskeys are uh, yeah, it's uh, crunchy. Sim similar. Let's try it. Okay. Mmm. Like your bread, but It's really good. It's like a fried tea biscuit. I can see what they mean. If you dipped it in a little bit of tea. Oh. I think it's coming my favourite so far. <laughs> and I don't even have a sweet tooth. Oh wow. Thank you. So this is where these are fresh out the oven. He chucks them in there. Thank you very much. Not the bad. They were so good. Literally opposite our little biscuit shop is the Royal I love how they call them hotels as well. I think it's more just like a... Yeah, why a do they call restaurants yeah, I, hotels? I, yeah, I, I don't know uh, because uh, from many years we call it hotels uh, when it is uh, about to eat and also when it's residential also we call hotels. So it's, this is food restaurant, a uh, food hotel. Yeah, and that one is residential. <laughs> we always find it so random, even in India as well, like the... the big restaurants or the famous restaurants are called hotels but anyway we are heading into the royal restaurant and actually you can see them cooking all outside ah, them, them, they're preparing it here as well yeah. so is this the biryani yeah biryani here and also salam alaikum wow it looks very good it, it, I want a chicken beef, this is beef biryani. beef biryani and this one Chicken, chicken biryani. And this is the chicken. Ah, the chicken is nearly sold out. And the uh, most popular mutton. <laughs> mutton better? It's really cool. You can see them preparing it at the side of the road. And they literally use the plate to pick up all of, look at all that goodness, all of that biryani. Thank you, my friend. Don't bad. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Hello. Hello, as, as would say. Hello, salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Hello. This is nice. This? Where should we sit? Upstairs? Okay. Very old one and very popular one. This so is really cool. Don't worry, don't worry, it's much better. Yeah, I like it. They've got all the neon lights. Over there, over there, be careful. Oh yeah, I'm too tall. I'm very tall. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like a nightclub in here. Yeah, go, go right, go right. Oh wow. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Okay, it's a nightclub. <laughs> Go left. Go left? Okay. Oh my god, it's amazing here. I can't see anything, but it works. They would like it. Okay, where should we sit now? Yeah, here? I think that one will be better. Perfect. Uh, okay, okay, this is good. <laughs> this is it. This is the biryani stroke nightclub restaurant of Old Dhaka. They turned the lights on for us, so it doesn't quite look so much like a nightclub now. But the biryani has arrived. So I'm not going to say that this is a Bangladeshi dish because we know that it originates from like India, Pakistan. However, Bangladesh is the land of rice and it would be wrong for them to not eat rice with something. So they do it slightly differently as does everyone. So you have it cooked as you saw and presented in the silver stainless steel and you have the big lump of meat and what is this? Like a special color actually special. Ah. it's made with meat? Uh, no, uh, a little bit meat uh, but mostly uh, they have different uh, ingredients so I, I should have uh, that's so good, cool. that's okay, I just wanted to that in it looks like a hash brown actually and then this you pour on top? Okay. yeah, pour on top, okay. like a curry it looks a bit spicy, I can't lie so, I'm being brave here because that sauce had like loads of chili in it. So here goes nothing. Mm. That's nice. 
that is really nice. It's kind of unusual to just have everyone's talking about us now. That's so cute. Sakra. Assalamu alaikum. The biryani is very good. Very good biryani. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it turns the biryani into a curry by adding a curry sauce, and I like it. The biryani can be quite dry. This is interesting. I've never put a sauce on top of a biryani, but here goes. And we've got a bit of oh, I'm gonna use my hands. The special kebab, chicken, chicken kebab. Mmm, it's good. It's really good because of this sauce. What is this sauce? It's, it's a, a chicken curry, so uh, from from the chicken curry, mm. you take this one. Ah, okay. So you make so it from the sauce chicken. From wow. the chicken. I'm only dry. I'll be honest, when in India, biryani is not my favorite dish. It gets extremely dry. That, it's a game changer. Not only do they do a good biryani, but actually their speciality is the pistachio nut milk. Apparently loads of different places have tried to recreate it and copy it, but they just can't get it as good as this. It's like a dessert. Um, so basically it has pistachios, of course, and then it has other nuts, almonds, cashews, and things like this, which makes it quite expensive because these nuts are expensive. Ooh, it's meant to be quite sweet, but it looks like I could just drink the whole lot. Cheers. Do I chew the nuts? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Wow. Wow, that is like a vanilla milkshake. I was like, expecting it to be thicker, but it's quite thin. And um, yeah, you just get like a whole mouthful of nuts. Let's do this. It looks like a milkshake. It smells like a milkshake. Cheers. Cheers. You'll be surprised. It's actually really thin. It tastes like watery milk. You've got all the bits in your mouth now. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's like... Mm. Refreshing. It's like a nutty vanilla milkshake. And obviously they make it here for 100... 150? 150. 150, which they said is expensive, but because the ingredients are so expensive. Mm. It's worth it. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I have a new favourite. I have a new favourite, Rocky, yeah. <laughs> is, this is unbelievable. I need to like fill my suitcase. I was about to drink it out of the bottle then. Fill my suitcase with this stuff. Donovan, thank you. Wow. Thank you, my friend. Wow. What a welcome back to the street. You just listen. Hello, how are you? That sounds incredible. Being in Old Deco, I think because we are so close, um, just being in this area it feels feels much more high, like completely different to the rest of Dhaka. Just these streets are insane, and the food is really, really good here as well. We're back in another whoa. Oh. Rickshaw, that was a really cool restaurant. It's actually been going for more than 50 years and that is why you want to do a food tour in Old Dhaka. They have the modern areas Whoa. like Golsham, but you cannot buy history. But Old Dhaka, the more we explore it, the bigger we realise it is. We thought when we first come here, oh, it's going to be a small district, a few old buildings. It's huge. No, like, the only way to get around is on rickshaws. Hello! Hello! Salam alaikum! We're currently heading through the Chalk Bazaar area. If you're coming to Dhaka, Bangladesh and you want to experience the chaos, this is the place to come to. If you just look, this is a quiet street of Chalk Bazaar. This is, this is, this is mellow. This is chilled out. This is the most chaotic place I have seen anywhere in the world. Chalk Bazaar. And everyone, as you go past, is so friendly. Honestly, they say Thailand is the land of smiles, but I'm almost certain that Bangladesh just tops it. Everybody smiles at you. Thank you, my friend. Done a bad. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Over here? Welcome to Food Street here in Old Dhaka. <laughs> wow, this place is absolutely hectic. But we are stopping at Bismillah Kebab. Super 
famous um, and we're really lucky because it's quite empty. How are you? How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Nice to meet you, my friend. We're lucky because it's pretty empty today, so we can sit wherever we want. So we're actually getting the beef kebabs, but you can see here at the front of the shop the guy preparing the different chicken dishes, putting it straight in the hot oil there. But we decided to go for the beef. We wanted to change it up. We've been in India for a long time. We need beef. So they literally fry this out the front we have in front of you. And we have the beef chat, which is very, very interesting. I love this area. It's so animated. Like, there's so much going on. Um, and as I said, this is like super famous wowie. Wow, wow, wow. This is crispy, crispy beef. And it's absolutely boiling, boiling hot. Oh, wow. Oh my god. If KFC did beef, I feel like they'd be in trouble. That is the crispiest beef I've ever tasted. I don't normally like crispy beef, but with the parabola, it's so good. It's really cool to watch them just chucking in all different types of meat into the deep fat fryer. And then it produces this, basically a steak that is deep fried. It sounds so weird. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't sound right, but Look at it. Okay, yeah. What is right? It's KFC. Mmm. The deep fried beef. This is what it'd be like. With a parappa, a bit of steak, all at the front. Bangladeshi KFC. Thank you. Don't have bad. Thank you very much. That was Bismillah cafe i will be honest it probably wasn't my favorite dish i thought at first that it was nice but then you know when a meat you're chewing you're chewing you're chewing and you're chewing more but it was cool to go there because it's famous for the best kebabs in all of old dhaka but now i think we could be going for the crowning glory we've walked back along the food street <laughs> We're going to get set on fire. As Matt said, we are about to be set on fire. 20% of the world's population actually use this or eat this every day. And that is the beetle nut or pan, whatever you want to call it. You're going to see the spitting on the floor everywhere. Everywhere you will find these red marks. So essentially it's kind of like they, they have the leaf itself it comes from um, like a palm type of tree and inside they add spices you can have it with tobacco and that's what becomes very addictive but it's and we're gonna do it bread. right let's here you ready oh i let's don't do know it. i'm not sure let's do it salam alaikum alhamdulillah wow i'm excited okay what is this i i, I actually don't know all the names <laughs> He knows better because it's very difficult to remember all these names. Uh, all but does the, all of this go in no, pan? On, on, only six or seven or eight items. And you're going first, right? Yeah, I'm going first, <laughs> definitely. Here we go. So he is cutting the beetle nut and then he's putting like a paste on top. What is this one? Number one. Ulkan. Ulkan. Chutney. Yeah, chutney, chutney. Chutney. Oh, wow. Wow, the smell. It smells like yeah. toothpaste. He's rubbing. There's there's a lot going on here. Wow, I wish you could smell it right now. Okay. Oh God, here we go. Footy footy. Footy footy. We have some footy footy. I like the name of it. Oh, it's very like colourful. Footy footy. And this one? Gulkan. 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 It's very sweet. Yeah, very sweet. This is why this guy is very famous. You are the yeah. sweet so beetle nut man. Spicy. Oh, we got some almonds. <laughs> and some cashews. Cashew. Nice and expensive beetle nut. Yeah. Not that expensive. <laughs> uh, okay. On the other we have a crowd. Side, you can have it by five chaka, but this is We have a lot of people surrounding us right now. Oh, wow, hold on. And what is this? Chocolate syrup. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, I don't know how this is going to taste. Chocolate syrup? <laughs> and then at the end, he's putting a little bit of alcohol. The, the syrup. The syrup, alcohol <laughs> syrup. <laughs> syrup. To set it on fire. Here we go. 
Oh, oh wow. Can I have this? Yes, of course. Yeah, it's recording. Touch by us. Whoa, he's dem this is a demonstration. We pray on. Pray for me. Pray oh, we're for praying, me. we're praying. <laughs> inshallah, you'll be yeah. okay. Yeah, inshallah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! It's good? <laughs> my turn. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. Wow! Whoa! We need to wait. Okay, we wait. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, you just put? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come closer. Wow, mm What a fun! I'm not pulling a curve. This is the, uh, I think this is the biggest thing you did ever. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Um, so it actually tastes quite nice. It's really sweet, but the leaf itself is disgusting. Like the taste of it isn't great the sweetness is lovely some people actually manage to swallow it down i feel alive Whew. it's like woken me up like there's some energy going through but there's no way i was swallowing that i had to spit your turn i'm gonna have a tissue out the ready i think your reaction may be even more nervous i'm actually not brave enough to have it on fire i feel like as a lady i need if you to don't have, have it on fire i feel like you've got to chew a bit more i'm gonna chew it for a bit longer get, and you get energy from this right yeah, definitely. I, I personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but We're I'm alive. Gonna I'm gonna... We're out partying tonight. I'm gonna be out in, partying in tonight, right? <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Oh. And chew! You got it, you got it! Very tasty and sweet. Very tasty! Yeah, it's very tasty. Oh, That's the best one. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that was too much in my mouth. I think that was a problem, but... Are you okay? Oh my god. Is that the worst reaction you've ever seen? I'm still doing it. Smile. Oh. Don't bad. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I'm doing it for you, because you didn't do it for too long. Don't bad. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank Take you. Take care. Don't Okay. Pan is one of the most unique experiences ever, but right opposite the Pan Man is a place where they um, sell village cakes. Now, Rocky was saying us, most people that live in Dhaka actually come from outside of the cities, they're from villages, and they miss their village cakes so much, which is why you have to try it. I think this is the, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. Something beginning with key, but it's full of coconut, like a pali pudding or something. And it's extremely sweet. Steamed on the side of the road. And everyone just comes to get it because they miss it so much. Your turn. This is going to be easy now. <laughs> the fire I was pathetic. I just watched it back and you can see me going, <laughs> like trying to flinch from the pan. But this is really cool because so many people from Dhaka. That's will, what I said. Yeah, they yeah. all live outside. They live outside. So it's sort of like reminiscing about home life. And it looks like a dumpling. Yeah, steamed dumpling. Like a pierogi or something like yeah. that. It's been turned into a dish. Hello. Hello. Salam alaikum. Hi, hi, hi. Let's do it. Everyone's so friendly. Oh, it's good. It's just like a coconut stuffed dumpling. It's essentially that. It's like a, in Poland, they have pierogi as a dessert. I don't even know if it's called pierogi in Poland, but anyway, <laughs> it tastes like that. We're back where we started and I don't want to leave Rocky because we had such a good day. Thank you for forcing both of us to try Pan. <laughs> yeah, Rocky, if anyone is coming to yeah, Dhaka, yeah. let if them know where coming, we can find you. Uh, to have a, uh, some tour in Dhaka, uh, you can find us. Our company name is Cholo Bangladesh Tours. It's cholobangladeshtours.com. So you can you can visit our website and book any of our tours and just try 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 come to Bangladesh and definitely visit. you're yeah, a legend. I'm sure loads of people will thank come. You, thank, thank you, thank you so much, so much my friend. Thank you for having me. Thank you.